right, welcome back. This is an amazing, exclusive, beautiful segment of our baby experience. My name is Willis Aburu. Now, Sasa Hivi Leo, we have a moment to sit down with somebody who has been making the headlines for, I think, maybe the past month. He's been on there talking, being talked about, and everybody wanting either to be him, wishing him well, abusing him, all in equal measure. Ladies and gentlemen, today, we we'll sit down with, he calls himself Langata One. Ladies and gentlemen, Heavy J Baba Jalango, a.k.a. Felix Odiwar, Member of Parliament for Langata. <laughs> yes, sir, yes, sir. <laughs> all that hey, introduction is just for me. Just for you. <laughs> Heavy J. How you doing? I'm good. Yeah, yeah, have I'm a seat, have a seat, man. So you got, you finally got employed. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> what was that? What, what, what was the break for? The break was for to clear my mind. Ah, okay. Yeah, so yeah. at least again, I'm bell and sasa nikona. Mm-hmm. You go sour. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Uh, but that was a complete switch, eh? Yes, it was. Ah, okay. It was uh, very important. Mm-hmm. You will understand transition. A transition is one of the most craziest things. Yes. But it got to a point in my life where it never mattered. But uh, yes. somebody who saw my value. Mm-hmm. Uh, mattered then because yeah. we had done everything media was to offer because I'd worked for Royal Media. Yes. I'd worked for Standard Group. Right. I'd worked for media Radio Max. Africa. I'd worked for Media Max. Yes. So anyone at any given point, you showed me a check that was <laughs> worth my value. <laughs> I, I would move. You would move. <laughs> I would move. You would move with the check. We, uh, we would move because... Yes. But without burning bridges. Okay. That's the most important thing. You know, you know, join media, mm-hmm. you never burn bridges. That's right. If today I was to come back to media, I can work at uh, Cape Media. Mm-hmm. I can work at Royal Media, mm-hmm. Radio Africa, because mm-hmm. I've always created friendship. Right. I've always made sure that wherever I go, yes. I never leave without a goodbye. Yes. You understand? There's a word called bye. Yes. Don't we'll just see you later. Bye. Yes. Don't you have, it must be a good. A good. Good bye. <laughs> nice, so that you can always. Because yes. one thing, you are here today and your manager becomes your manager on the other side. Ah, that's right. Or yeah. you become a boss of your manager on yes. the other side. The media so is just, it's just a musical chair. chair. Yes. So you, mix, you must make sure that wherever you are, you're positive when you're leaving, you live nicely, you always create a good journey. A good journey. Like they always say, when you're climbing, yes. going up, yes. the stairs don't break every stairs. Ukitupa, unaweza fika juu na pata inawaka moto, and you'd already burnt the the bridge. The bridge. The so stairs. Thank you so yes. much for inviting Karibu me. Karibu sana. Karibu sana. Asante. Now that you, you see, I mean, you seem to have uh, a very good for the years that we've even worked together. You seem to have a very good head on your shoulders, and then with all this goodness you've explained here, have a good bye. But then you enter into politics that it seemed to be murky, dirty. You see, when did you decide that I'm you know, going to go into politics? I didn't. So many people don't know when I decided that I wanted to go into politics. Mm-hmm. Now, let me tell you. Mm-hmm. There were rumors first that if you didn't have a degree, mm-hmm. it would be so hard for you to run. Right. So the first thing, you know, I didn't have a degree. I didn't have a degree. Form for certificate. <laughs> A blood certificate, yeah. and, uh, and a certificate <laughs> that is freely good, KCP, yes. notwithstanding. Right. So I decided, let me go to school. And when I went to school, I decided to do or take a course that will prepare me for w- whatever I was going for. Okay. So I joined Daystar University to community uh, community development and strategic science. Right. I graduated community development and, and strategic science. Right. And that was my, that's when I decided. Four years, even before the elections. And I went, missed classes, missed missed events, missed everything, concentrated on classes. And my period between that four years, I made the biggest losses ever. But I needed to finish school. You know how. Then... Every single event had one MC. Mm. The MC that got you promoted. <laughs> hey, <laughs> DJ, Baba. Baba. <laughs> <laughs> so can you imagine? Safaricom calls you. I'm sorry for mentioning. Yes. yes. Anyway, because they have... It's okay. They advertise us. Yeah, they are advertisers. <laughs> I know they'll even put more money. This is your show. Anyway. Yes. Safaricom calls you and tells you, uh, Kesho to an event. You're needed for a briefing at 5 p.m. 
5 p.m. Nicola, come them 4.30. <laughs> Will you cancel or go to class? Yeah. So can you imagine, I used to have But an event. But it takes some strength to make that decision. I used to have an event on Wednesday, yeah. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So for four years, I canceled events back to back, top events. And uh, I made sure I graduated. Then kaboom, I announced that you know what? Mm -hmm. I'm going to be the next Langata MP. Mm -hmm. For you to make that announcement, because again, and we'll go back to you know the history of uh, where AVG came from, born, bred, etc. Mm. But for you to now say, I want to make this announcement, you have just finished school, you had now an opportunity to get even a better job. Mm -hmm. Yes, but then what happened? Why did you decide? I've that? always believed in leadership, right? Because leadership gives you a bigger voice. Let me tell you, media can give you a bigger voice, but you are looking for a solution from someone. Right. Okay? Okay. So your will is Raburu. You are big already. But an, you will air out an issue happening in Langata constituency. Right. But the person with the voice is to make sure is the member of parliament. That's right. So I used to be in this space where I was big already, but I was calling other people to come and sort issues in a community that I live in, a community that I can change. And a community that has given you so much can only expect so much from you. That's why I opted for leadership. Yes. Right. And when you go for leadership, there is, especially for elective posts, there is the, there is the chance that you will fail. Mm -hmm. There's a chance that you will make it. <laughs> uh, I know now it is after the now, fact, let me tell but you something. you prepared for let me tell you something. being number two? Or let me three. tell you something. Yeah. If you ever see me, Willis, in any ballot paper, I am the person that elected. I don't do things that I don't get. If you followed me closely, I never do things that I don't get. For example, mm -hmm. I became the top narrator of the National Theatre the first time I was given the chance to do it. I became one of the top comedians when I got the chance. Every I became jealous. the top most searched for, looked for radio presenter when I got the chance. I became the top YouTuber when I started. Jalawa TV. When I was given the chance. I became the top philanthropist <laughs> when I started taking these things that you see so people are now doing. Yes, yes, I, yes, yes. I did them on my show. And I still do them. Anything I touch becomes gold. Mm. So the day you see me on a ballot paper as member of parliament, I'm the enemy. <coughs> if you see me as a, a governor aspirant, I'm the governor. If you see me as a president, I'm the president. Mm -hmm. God has taken us from so far that we can just stop this far. <laughs> <laughs> All right. If you can't beat them, yeah. arrange to have them beaten. <laughs> That is where you should have had sanitizers here. Yeah. <laughs> sanitizers. <laughs> <laughs> if you can't give them, arrange to have them beaten. You don't join them. You could be joining fools, my friend. Yes. Mm. You arrange to have them beaten. You arrange to have them beaten. Right. You can't beat them. So now this is Heavy J, Member of Parliament, sworn in. Before you even... No, before you even tell me, Member, has it got into your head that yeah. you are interviewing a Member of Parliament? I, you know you think I'm your friend. <laughs> From the days, you know, even the way you casually called me, the way, the way you still, what do, you do you know who you are interviewing? Did I say no, no, do did, you know? Did than a no, no, you didn't so did tell me. You know how you didn't call me a bash. <laughs> you know, uh, I'll actually walk out of it. The embarrassment they you put it. Where? <laughs> anyway, do, you, do you know this guy who told me, where? Niaje? Where? Who did I interview? And come up here. Moshimeo Willis, I will come. Actually, it's me who called him Moshimeo. I will never fail you. I can never fail you because of how... <laughs> Thank you. We know where we come from. Yes, yes. We know what has put us where we are. Yes. You know the fights we've had to be where we are. Mm. And, 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 uh, and that and is one thing that grounds me all day. Mm -hmm. The notability to fail that umefika, the not wanting for anything to get into your head, the humility that you are brought up in. Mm. 
still gets you grounded. That's where I want to go because you are I know you don't are know. a child of dynasty. <laughs> so, so some of these things that I'm saying cannot even get into you. When your father was PC, Nyanza, I was still in the village, Suko. Meaning when your father was PC and I was a fisherman in Omabi, you, you already having me having to decide whether you have uh, you'll have couscous bolognese in, in asparagus. <laughs> Uselessness from forever. Kus, kus you should have yeah. gone through some of these things we've gone through. I did eventually, but no, you my, that's another story. No, my, when, when you decided to? Yes. Okay. I had a choice. Mm. But now for you, uh, you didn't have, I mean, there are people who today, back in the village, remember you as, we used to see, as they would say, Wodangane, mm. fishing here. Mm. Tell us a story about, you know, like where did Jalango start? Like no, no, food? the question yes. is not even that. I was born and bred in Homa Bay mm -hmm. County, but my home is in Siaya, okay. where I later went back and uh, found my roots and all. But this is not that uh, we didn't have a home in Siaya or anything, but humble beginnings and all. Siaya had always been home, but I was born and bred in Homa Bay. I went to Lake Primary School, mm. P.O. Box uh, 217, <laughs> Homa Bay. And uh, after... My KCPE, I got a chance through quota system to go to Maseno school because even what I'd gotten was not able to admit me to Maseno. Right. But I was lucky enough to have uh, the quota system. You remember the quota system then mm -hmm. where they would say, up and up and yes, in. Nye, nye. So and then. having got my few marks, I mm -hmm. got a quota system to Maseno school. Then to Maseno school, Willis, uh, my old man, had to gather money from left, right, and center to get me admitted to Maseno School. But uh, two months later, or a month later, I think, when he had already gathered money mm -hmm. from the time people had reported, I went and we showed up at Maseno School. We were told, boss, it is not like this time when we are pushing for 100% transition. Right. That then if you didn't have, if you didn't have your... Uh, the money on you didn't report, your chance would be sold. Okay? Mm, okay. And you know who used to, to take the chances. Mm. So we left uh, having tried. So I went to Nyango, Nini, Barkanyango Secondary School, mm -hmm. in P.O. Box 14, Nyamonye, in the deeps of the villages to start my schooling there. And I went to Form 1 using Maseno University, Maseno, Maseno School uniform in another high school. Because my folks could not afford a new uniform. They had just bought this one mm. at one shop called Blackberry, where everybody <laughs> used to be selling. used to buy a uniform, yes. So I went to Nyangoma Boys, to, to Barkanyango. And uh, later my father took me to Nyangoma Boys in Bondo. Because my brother George was already there. So he wanted to be paying school, school fees at once. Not saying that this is for Aburu and this is for uh, no. Collect. Yeah, and this is what yeah, I have. Get, get if you people can understand me, allow me. And then he never used to even pay the school school fees. Uh, it would come with maize. It would come. The school already wants maize, mm. right? Mm. So we have maize. Take maize. You take maize. <laughs> <laughs> then it will be the parent who shows up at eight in the morning when people are in the assembly. What an embarrassment! But anytime I saw my old man pushing and coming up and paying, I used to know. And this is it. I need to be to break the chain, generational curses and the pains that my family was going through then. To just change the story and be something. Mm -hmm. Then I finished my my high school at Nyangoma gracefully. Got a very strong C plus. Strong. <laughs> strong. <laughs> C very strong C plus. C plus. C plus. A C plus in Nyangoma secondary school is an A plane in Stare. Yes. <laughs> I can't lie to you. I can't lie to you. You need to know that. <laughs> because something like a and banner, we saw it on the day of the exam. <laughs> <laughs> That's when now you are confronted with it. Hey, one hour still looking at you. Hey, man, this is the way it looks. Yes. And this is the form four. And this is your last day. Now today, the pipette is here. For real, it's here today. Today, you have to do titration. I don't like you. 
And then a friend of mine, I hope he sees, get to see this, is yes. called Okumangolo. <coughs> Okumangolo mixed everything and he blew up. He wrote observation explosive. <laughs> <laughs> and this is a true story. There's even a day. You know how biology practicals, now we did our first biology practicals, eh? Yes. To Kachinja Songora. Then I can know you very well that there was some meat somewhere waiting to be used tomorrow. Right. As a, for, as a specimen. Wali Kula. Wali, they hate the specimen. What I'm trying to tell you is that we used to use, eh? We used, to, what I, we used to use past, you know how from force will finish with the exercise book. It becomes your textbook as a form three. So it depends if you inherit yeah. a book from a form four as a good and writing, at least you'll have a better textbook. You know how a set book can, you can have three or four copies. Yes, yes. So you are given one paragraph to read, the next person, it goes round, round, round. Yes, round. Yes. You see? That is done in other schools to test reading ability. That's right. As it was because <laughs> we don't. <laughs> we did have. So, we, so Nyangoma did very well. Yes, yes. C plus wasn't bad. Yeah. So I went and told my father that now uh, I need to go to college, whether as a teacher, KMTC, all these things. Uh, and uh, my father has never laughed like that before. <laughs> he told me, boss, you've seen. <laughs> what we've gone through trying yeah. to take you through high school. Now, yeah. where on earth do I get money to take you to college? <laughs> you get, where do I get money to take you to college? Mm-hmm. Right? Right. So I knew that was it. Yeah. So now the first time, now when I came back to Nairobi, now I got to know that depression hit me for the first time then. I was so depressed because you see a neighbor who... But at this time we did have a definition for it. I did not know what depression was, where I was born. What is depression? Mm. But I now can know that now I was depressed then because Willis has gone to college, who is gone. So I'm the one who's left in the whole neighborhood. I've performed even better than some other people. I have my C plus. But I said, for how long am I going to lock myself in this house crying? Mm. That's how I got myself into fishing, into the lake. So you see, in Homer Bay, you can only go to fishing. In uh, Narok, you'll go to the wheat wheat plantation in Kericho, you would go for the tea plantation or the kitale into the maize. You get what I mean? Mm-hmm. So I went to the, to the lake and we started fishing. Those photos, you see the videos, that was me then. And uh, wow. From that one day, now. One day, a new company was being formed in Omabe called Capital Fish that was now going to process fish. So I left the lake, got myself into Capital Fish. Now, the most funny thing, Capital Fish is right opposite Lake Primary School. So I was, teachers used to use me as an example. Musikwe kama. Musikwe kama. One day my father told me, he'd always told me he wanted to be a man and go to Nairobi. Give me his two shirts, two trousers, I think 800 or 1,000 bob then, go to Nairobi. And that's how I left Oma Bay, coming to the city. It was around 2003, 4, 5 there. Right. That's when I was coming to Nairobi. And now... But I'd already... I came earlier. I'd come once. One day, I'd, I was coming to visit my girlfriend. Okay. Mm. Very good. Yeah. Are yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you still in communication? No, no, no. Very good. She got married and all, but oh, uh, that's good. when somebody gets married, you leave them. Yeah, amen. I'm uh, married too. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> Jaber is Jaber. Jaber is Jaber. Hashtag. Yes. Yes. So now that, you know, all this has happened, and of course it's a, a story you would eventually then go into Papa, and uh, you'd come in, and now go to the registrations, and everything you said being the first, 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 biggest, biggest, biggest. Mm-hmm. Um, like they say in Swahili, and uh, i see if I get it right, if you have nothing good eh, yes. in your life, nobody will ever care about you. That's right. If you ain't doing anything, nobody would care about you. Willis today, if you just went somewhere and slept, nobody would care where Willis is. But if you're doing something, that is when positive energy checks in or negative energy checks in. 
kupigwa ni mingi na vitu yes. kama hivyo na vile sisi tunapenda kusema hey. jina mzuri wakia maiti <coughs> unajua even if a thief dies yes. that's when he will he love all the praises yes huyu kijana alikuwa msuri. kama si yeye <coughs> he street light up angebeko mimi hmm. nilikuwa na nyonga watu serikali kabla iweka pole sapa ya stima si alileta maendele <laughs> well now so now. <laughs> you should have sanitized yeah. here sanitized <laughs> so now with with everything that has happened you become mm. member of parliament for langata mm. you are now of course serving the term mm. then people start coming jalango is a betrayer jalango was seen with the, his excellency the president you know let me tell you something i know what you want to ask yes you know when his excellency the president was coming to langata the first time he came to langata you know he lives in langata mm. and uh, langata is the host of so many government institutions national oil cabs nema all of them most people do not know langata they think that langata ni hapo kanivo 1824 na langata is huge yes. the biggest constituency in nairobi mimi as we speak i'm the mp of people who are living the dead animals barracks na wafungwa <laughs> you get what i mean right. so when he came the first time he came with my competitor um, honorable ps minister of lands honorable nixon correct he came with him to a function that was in langata then there was an introduction of mp then i'm, I'm missing then wao oh, yule alimlimpatia kazi hata yuko uh-huh. eh mwenye mlimnyima kazi ndiye anakujaga hapa eh then the next time he was coming was coming now to launch affordable homes 4800 houses for residents of langata kibra so it was on b a project that was enshrined in the azimio manifesto mm-hmm. and baba himself was the one who started all this Salam upgrade. I went I called Baba and asked him Ruto is coming for this and this what do you think? He told me if it's development go go. So Ruto comes and I'm there and uh, it's a big event and Korir also comes. All right? So this time he doesn't have a chance to talk. Yes. So it's the MP who is being called. So I'm here as a mp and the event goes very well then the president goes to kisumu he meets all other mps remember paka libalishwa mm-hmm. paka ile lucasel lucasel of elders he was received nicely akina governor wamempatia paka ngombe all these things happening the mps received him they had dinner at state house they had everything going on and they were calling him the president then a week or two later he calls me jalango how you i need you to at state house then i tell mushima i'll come very early in the morning i go to state house and i find the other leaders there apparently i'd called so many other leaders but uh, the few yes. the few of us showed up When the few of us showed up it was a normal thing to me because everybody had met the president right. everybody had been meeting the president people had been going to state house right <coughs> when the photos were posted it blew up to a next and i didn't know i didn't know we had done something wrong and coincidentally the next weekend was the pg parliamentary group meeting in manzoni I said yes man zone and i went no man yes yes that is where i was beaten and thrown out of the of the meeting then i realized something is wrong i tried to reach back nobody was reaching because now our being thrown out or us being seen at the state house had created another conversation political conversation so nobody wanted you near them or anywhere because you'll also spoil the conversation that is going on now because i remember the next day there was 
uh, a rally in Kitengela. Right. That is the first time Baba said this in Himalaya was yasa. <laughs> and it was a big thing and it became too hot. I could not go anywhere Baba is. I could not join the rallies. I could not do anything because I would say you could not join is when you try to join people stop you. No, or? not you can't. Or you, Bro, just for your life. For my life. Mimi sina mwili ya kupigwa kila siku. I sina mwili ya kupigwa. Right. So at that time you are now floating. You are clueless. What is really happening? What's wrong did we do? In the constitution now there is freedom of association freedom of speech what is it that we did that was wrong who is the president of the republic of okay. kenya william ruto if the president calls you today won't you go yes i will that's it mm. so from that time we've been seen as betrayers mm-hmm. we've been seen as uh, i've been called one time mp i've been called every single name are you are you uh, so many questions now okay so are you Now that uh, the party made the decision to suspend you, or kick you out rather, mm. uh, people have been saying, oh, kama jalangona jamini sana, harudu kwa deb. Is that something, are you in your mind strong enough to go back to the deb? Why not? And, and I would easily go back. Mm-hmm. But even now, as you speak, there's no IBC. Mm-hmm. <laughs> there's no even an IBC to conduct that deb thing. Yes. Uh, say for Banisa constituency, mm-hmm. the late Honorable passed on to date. They've never had an, uh, an MP. That's why somebody has even gone to court to say that the National Assembly is not well constituted mm-hmm. because we don't have Banisa. a mem- Banisa member of parliament. Mm-hmm. As we speak, there's no one. So you resign now, then you sit there waiting until an IBC will be created in 2026. Mm-hmm. That would be stupid of me, for mm. lack of a better word. Mm. And even why? What, what wrong did I go, mm. do? Saying that I resign will be validating the fact that I wrong. I didn't do any wrong. I met the president. Who has not met the president? Baba himself has met the president. Mm. But when people would say Baba is Baba and they can meet anyone. Jalas is also Jalas. He can also meet whoever he wants to meet. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm. So are you, are you, do you feel misunderstood in the party betrayed by the party are you still in town talking times with baba <laughs> number one thing everybody baba is not a bad person yes and baba knows very well that i'm his son why it not for baba even my campaign should have been very hard and i know the big role that baba played in me being the member of parliament he supported me he supported me not only by endorsing me but also financially i think We are few the, one of the few people who one day Baba told us, plan something, I will come and grace it to support you guys on your election. And he gave me personally five million shillings to keep on, because ilikuwe mewaka. Ilikuwe mewaka, mbaya san. Yes. It's not easy to beat an incumbent MP with the resources and everything. Baba supported me. Mm. And Baba knows very well, in his, wherever he is now, he knows that the last is my son. And Baba loves me so much. Mm-hmm. You get what I mean? But the truth is, when politics take over, even the love, the betrayal and everything, politics is a game of chances, a game of, how do I call it? It is, it is a snowball. It rolls become bigger, it cracks all. Things have been happening. Yeah. I've not betrayed my party. That's why I'm in my party. That's why uh, I still pay my party monthly contributions. I still do everything that the party wants me to do. Okay? But uh, you'd ask me, why have you not been seen in party events, events. and all? Number yeah. one, I don't know the mood of other people around Baba. When I met Baba on an individual space, we were there like this. Hey. The goons and they were not there. Hey. Baba was there talking to me. Did you see? I said, yes. Yes. <laughs> and I'm like, hey, Baba, you are not a bad person. Hey. It is this people around you that makes you look bad. Today, if I know Baba is somewhere himself, I'd go. But there are people who have emotions, emotions and what, and can easily do harm you. Mm. So I'm in the party. Very strong in the party. 
The worst thing is that we've been developed even from WhatsApp groups, everything, Atuko, so we don't know any time what the party wants. We, don't, we are not in communication. Nobody tells you anything the party wants. You get what I mean? Mm. So anything you do, you just, you just make personal decisions. decisions. Mm. So um, moving forward, do you think you, would you want to mend these fences and how does somebody mend fences in such a situation? You see, <coughs> if there was a mistake, you'd say you want men to mend fences. I met Baba Wispo. He told me, my son, I don't have a problem. So you can always come anytime. But where we are right now is a space where uh, I really want to just to make a difference in the lives of people of Langata. The people who gave me the mandate, I just want to work for them. Politics today is not politics tomorrow. When the time for politics come, we will cross that bridge when the time comes. Mm -hmm. For now, the people of Langata are enshrined in my heart. And that is what I want. Mm -hmm. Trying to solve the major problems that people used to tell me, that Langata, there's no water. Last, last month, we commissioned one of the biggest projects from the national government. When people tell you, let us state house, let us development, Ghani. So Langata is a problem, water problem. And one of the biggest problems of water in Langata is illegal connections. Because the pipe, the main pipe that brings water to Langata was just out there in the open. So anybody would connect, connect wherever. So what we did, we slabbed a whole pipe to 1.2 kilometers to let water come into Langata. Nobody can see that. And they will not tell you. But people of Langata will tell you, at least from that time, we've seen a difference in our water supply. And that makes yeah. me happy. happy. Right. Okay? Okay. The other day, we went to the PS, Rono, to NHC. And they've been having water issues. We commissioned that water, water tank. Bohol plus water tank. Just to try and solve the small things from this small thing that national government tells. Somebody will tell you, why can't you use CDF? Because they don't know. CDF only gives you a chance to repair schools, mm -hmm. pay bursaries, mm -hmm. environment that has one vote that's around 3.5 on spot, 3.5 million, and 35% on bursaries and schools. That is over 50 million. And I am the only MP who, give, who gave the highest amount of 35% of everything I received to school. I gave out 50 million Kenya shillings. Go ask any other MP in this country who gave more than that. It is only me. Pushed in from what our locations from Kera. We even got more allocations from Kura. As we talk today, the people of Kuwinda Karin, who've never seen Tamak Road through their community, the whole place is Tamak. Mm. Hekima Road in Karin is Tamak. It's done. Sumba Road in Nairobi West is done. Niamey Road is done. Onyonka Estates are happy. Civil Servant 1, 2, 3 are happy. You understand? Uh, Akiba in South Sea, 1, 2, 3. All of them done in this short period that we're here. Now from next week, I'm now started, starting to roll CDF projects because tenders are now out and people are starting. And that is what will make me happy. Willis, if yes. I am one term MP and I've done this to the people of Langata, I will sit back and say, you know what? In the history of this country, mm. I was given a chance to serve my people by the people of Langata, and I did it. I'll be so happy. Right. Yes. All I'd right. rather be a one-term MP. I worked for my people, left a mark, than be in that house for 20 years and having done nothing. Mm. Yes. All right. Finally, um, the people who watch, who have seen, there's that one person who I imagine is sitting at home and has seen Jalango the fisherman. Mm. They've seen... Jalango Papa Shirandula. They've seen Jalango the entertainer, the heavy James, Jalango the radio host, Jalango the TV presenter, Jalango everywhere. And now Jalango the member of parliament of Langata. And they just wonder, can this be my story as well? This could be your story. What would be your, your advice and motivation to them? This could be your story. And your story must be a story of emptiness. I come from a point of, I am empty. It is only me who can fail myself. And it will fail yourself 
with consistency, persistency, and being hungry all the time. I got one of the best lessons from one Caroline Mutoko. Right. She told me, the day utafilu mefika, the day you will feel you've arrived, or you are achieved, or you made it, is the day you'll start coming down. Forever have the ruthless focus that you had from the day, the reason why you do what you do, the reason why you wake up every day, the reason, even if somebody does what, that hunger <coughs> be the reason for you to wake up. The boss, I've, I've lacked, I've lacked. I've been in a position where I've not had meals. I've been in a position where I've had a meal and even tipped the weight more than the meal itself. I choose having any day. There's no dignity in poverty. Mm. Can never be. So this could be your story. Mm -hmm. Story of humility, rising, and always being hungry of wanting more. Either, like they say, sleep and enjoy your dream or wake up and chase them. The choice is yours. Right. Control is under the situation. Mm -hmm. Control is under the situation. And no time will be left <laughs> unstoned. <laughs> ah. Well, I said, I said, I said, for coming, I, I, uh, no time will be left unstoned. Yes. <laughs> That's it. And no, okay. yeah, control the is control is under situation. Yes. Very good. Asante sana for coming through. Uh, and we appreciate. So no, we don't, you can't finish finally. without me telling the people belong. Uh, that, that's why I said finally. That's finally. That was the final. I hope that's not your finally. The final final. Okay, sir. So yes. Finally, to the people of Langata, the people of Nairobi West, the people of South Sea, the people of Karen, the people of High Rise Ward, the people of Mugumoini Ward. I know in, the only Langata you know is Mugumoini Ward. And mm -hmm. I know you never knew it's called Mugumoini Ward. Because mm -hmm. the Langata you know is Apo Carnival 1824, <laughs> That's Mugumoini Ward. Mugumoini, right. I just want to take this opportunity, number one, to thank you so much for giving me this opportunity to be your member of parliament in the 13th parliament. You've seen the work you're doing and we will still do more. I have your heart, and you didn't make a bad choice. Politics put aside, let's work, let's deliver the mandate that you gave me. When politics come, we'll find ourselves on the roads. And just like we did for them last time. Tab we pale pale Ah, really? Thank you very much, you did. Uh, 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 I love you so much, my brother. Thank you so much. Keep doing what you're doing. Thank you, sir. I want to wish you well with your new gig. Yes. And uh, the hunger is still there. Mm -hmm. Let you never, ever. And as you finish, I say, just try. Yes. Just try. Just try. Mm -hmm. Finish Langata, Langata, Governor, Governor Nairobi, or just jump straight to deputy president. Then you become president. Very good. Why not? Who said we can't? You can do it. And I want to announce it here the first time. Yes. I will be president of this country someday. Mm -hmm. mm. You have announced it. It was There's said no here. better place to announce it more than here. Than he, thank All you. you're praying for is life. Life. And long life. God bless you. God bless you. I stand thank stand. You. Very good. Thank you very much. All right. We'll be back after this. Remember the hashtag to use is our baby XP. To me, I hope to go to the palais. Heavy jam is ever one day. It's a quite H E. Iposiko. Iposiko. We'll be right back.